so difficult. Hi there, this is Em. Uh, today we'll talk about braces. And yes, finally I don't have them. I mean, not finally, I just don't have them anymore. Uh, it's been a while since I've been here with you, so let me update you or remember what happened before. So in January 2014 I got my braces on and in August 27 this year, 2016, I took them off. And uh, I've been wearing a new shit since that time. Uh, two or three months, I, am a f I think three months, I wore it uh, in the morning, like all the time, not in the morning, just all the time I had that thing on. And now I wear it only at night or like in the evening where I sleep. So the new thing comes in this box and it's actually a transparent thing that you're putting inside your mouse on the high upper teeth. On the down teeth the, there is a wire glued from the inside on the first first six teeth, yeah? Like three here, three here. It's hold, It holds my teeth in the same position. And uh, so basically I need to take care only of uh, the upper part. Um, yeah, the thing is this uh, piece of plastic wears out really fast and at the beginning the doctor changed it every three to four weeks. Uh, changed it, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, when I, they took my braces off they put a piece of glue like this, you know, the tasty thing in my mouth and they did a print yeah to see how they are and uh, from that print they made a 3d mouse of mine <laughs> um they actually did it with 3d printer which is cool i like the way that the idea that they used the new technologies now like there was one and plastic thing from it there was number two and plastic thing that i had to wear and now I'm wearing number three, which is the final. It's a fun fact, they told me that they don't know when I will not need it. Okay. How they call it here? Tempo indeterminato. They don't know where I will have to stop this. Some people wear it for years. I hope I will wear it. Uh, I don't know, it, it's not annoying, it's nothing basically. Because I don't have to eat with it, I don't have to think that I have to take it off, and uh, I don't need to clean my teeth every time. You know what I mean, braces, things. So, how my life changed now? Hmm, let me think. Not much. <laughs> I mean, I was okay with my teeth before putting braces on. It's just the doctor that said, that told me, Marta, you need to put things on because your teeth will fall apart in 10 years or 20 years, so. That was the thing that I needed to do. I don't know, do you think I'm satisfied with the, how it went out after those two years of, you know, maintaining my teeth, my smile, my daily routine with a toothbrush and, you know, cleaning devices? Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, I will never have the Hollywood smile. I mean, my teeth are very different in sizes. Like, you know, difficult to hide, you know, my front teeth. And yeah, they're just different sizes, so I will not have the perfect Hollywood smile. But on the other hand, yes, they look better than they did. I can tell now. Before, I could not. For me, they were like my teeth, you know, I, I was born with those. I had them for a really long time, so I could not notice the difference that they were like really bad in bad condition. So yeah, uh, when they took those off, my teeth got a bit whiter. So that's the plus. <laughs> I guess. Oh, talking about how they took them off. Fuck, if they would tell me that that would hurt, I would be prepared. I was not prepared. That's the thing. Be prepared. They just took a clamp style instrument and they were just breaking braces from my teeth. It actually felt like if they were breaking teeth. They were breaking part of my teeth. That was painful and I was not ready and uh, I was very scared, <laughs> okay? That was that was fucked up. So be aware of that thing, that that might happen. Uh, I thought that they will use some other chemicals and that this thing will just melt away and my breath will be like ding, 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 going away. No, it was hardcore. Three months of uh, summer, I had a new thing uh, with my braces. Uh, there was a kind of bigger gum. That was a real 
gum connected to my third tooth up to my fifth or sixth tooth down okay um that's the thing uh, I needed some pressure on my teeth I don't know if you will need that but you know on your braces there are hooks there are kind of hooks uh, on two upper tooth teeth and on two down teeth or three yeah so depending on how much pressure you need to put on your teeth uh, you will have one or two gums uh, connected to one of those two teeth tooth. Uh, the doctor will tell you if you will need that or if you will need some cooler device like the iron head a friend of mine has it now he is facing a lot of troubles with it if I were sent back in time and I was proposed to do this again would I do this? Mm, yeah uh, firstly it's a cool experience this is a great challenge for your uh, daily routine and uh, facing all this inconvenience that you have it's kind of challenging but it's cool it makes you stronger and uh, yeah because uh, I want my teeth to be healthy I want my teeth to serve me for years centuries let's hope so if you need it just go for it uh, the only thing maybe you would want to find a cheaper versions somewhere cheaper country to do that like in my case I had to go back to my country to maintain them but now like last few months I think starting from March actually I uh, had a deal with the doctor that I found here and can't say that I liked him <laughs> anyway especially with the thing that how he took my braces off what an ass I suppose I'll just have to leave the picture before and after and salute you because uh, that's it was my braces story there's nothing more to tell I don't know if I'll have to put braces on again you will know first about it uh, have a nice day and see you soon bye